Hey guys, how's it going? It's me once again, and I've got a little predicament <laughs> that I'm trying to figure out today. Um, we keep the camper behind this fence right here, um, and it's a tight, tight fit. And what I did before we left is I installed this little uh, latch that when you open it on one side, it you can see in the camera there on the other side it's moving too which worked out great um, that's a great way to close the fence um, <clears throat> from either side and have it lock into place and I tried using what was there already to, to beef up the uh, the hinges and when we were pulling the camper out it was such a tight fit that we had to crank on the edges to to really get that extra quarter inch and and this just popped right off so I want to get away from that and just make something that where I can just lift either side of the fence up off of the uh, off its hinge and that way that'll buy me all the room I need to get that sucker <laughs> through here and I don't know how I don't know how the person who originally uh, took it out got it out because I had to have a rope wrap around this birch tree and go straight in <laughs> and then pull the rope with the car so that the camper would pull out straight instead of at an angle. So uh, <laughs> that was a challenge and a half because of course it was like the worst mosquito day I've ever seen in Alaska. <laughs> it was crazy. I mean you put your hand somewhere for just two seconds and it was literally covered in mosquitoes and I'm not talking and, you know friendly mosquitoes these are nasty monsters <laughs> so here's what I got going on I just took some two by and cut some pieces and these pieces these angles are going to support um, a pivot point and the pivot point I just took uh, that saw over there clamped down my wood and cut um, an angle or a curve around the edges and I just took this funnel and it's not exactly the right dimension so I just pinched it and then it was so that worked out good so anyway I'm gonna take this dowel and I'm gonna cut off some lengths that are going to fit in here that are gonna lock into here and then pivot into an opening on this piece so that way my plan is um, with the pin in here and everything else locked I can let me switch hands I can just lift the fence and that'll lift the entire thing out uh, for moving that camper in and out. And it'll be good, for, I think, for winter too, because then when I need to get back there to my new and ever expanding wood pile, I'll be able to lift that fence and carry in uh, substantial amounts of wood throughout the winter. So, anyway, that's my goofy project for today that I hope is going to save me time later because I really should be working on other things. <laughs> And uh, yeah, why not take the time and, and do it right this time so I don't have to worry about it later. All right, hope you guys are well. And my next, I think I might do a video later today. I got some seaweed at the beach that I've been drying out and I wanna boil it and eat it <laughs> and see how that tastes. So uh, videos to come later. Hope you guys are well, bye.